I'm breezy. Um, just over six years ago, when I was 10, I was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer, and I chose to have my leg amputated as the best option to fight the cancer and live my life to the fullest. Back then, as I thought about life, cancer, and even losing my leg, I realized that I was actually pretty lucky. I told my mom the day I was diagnosed, I said, I'm thinking about all the kids right out in the world that are dying because they don't have food or water. It makes me feel like what I'm going through isn't such a big deal. And I think the truth is, what we experience in life can seem either simple or overwhelming. It really depends on the way you look at it. I thought, I have cancer, and even with the chemotherapy, I'll have to remove the tumor and most my leg with it. I remember thinking, I can be sad, and I can be mad, but is that really gonna help me? No, it wouldn't. It would simply make me more miserable. So I made a decision that I was gonna be positive. I couldn't control cancer, but I could control the impact it had on me. To me, it seemed simple. I was alive, so I was going to live. I've learned that getting outside my comfort zone is where the magic happens. I was definitely outside my comfort zone when the doctors asked me to speak to other children like me, share a message of hope. At first it started with just answering some questions for a child like me that wanted to talk to someone who had gone through what they were facing. But over time it grew into mentorship opportunities and often into friendships with a common bond. Sadly though, I have witnessed friends with osteosarcoma battle the end stages of cancer. To honor these friends who've lost their battles at the ages of 10 and 13, I made the choice to live life to its fullest, to continue to give freely of my time to those people who just need a little extra help, and to enjoy all life has to offer, and in everything I do, to do it wholeheartedly. I owe that to my friends. I often speak publicly about my story. I walk through the choices I made when I was diagnosed. I share some of the challenges and the opportunities, some of the triumph I've experienced over the last six years. And at the end of my speeches, I typically share three things that I continue to embrace that have made a huge difference in the way I live my life. First, be positive, because attitude is everything. Embrace challenges and the changes they bring and know you can make a positive impact on those around you, whether it be one person or one million. Second, remember, you're alive, so live. Really live. And in everything you do, do it wholeheartedly. Treat each day like the gift it is. And finally, don't be afraid to get outside your comfort zone. Because I can tell you from many personal experiences, that is where the magic happens. I usually see the glass half full. However, I have my moments my bad days and those challenges that I don't even want to take on, just like most people. But I found that the more I push myself and choose to move through that uncomfortable feeling and take life head on, the more I've learned that I'm responsible for my attitude and I choose positivity. Thank you.